Starting a YouTube channel is arguably the best decision I've made for my career in my lifetime. Now I use the word career loosely simply to mean the work aspect of my life because really I don't believe in careers. When you use the word career it makes it look like a career is different from your life. I generally believe in life because if you are to isolate careers from our lives then what are we left with? I feel like most of us, our careers are literally our life. Most of us are actually working and never living. So the idea is to make the career part of your life. Enjoy it. Then you literally enjoy your life. You isolate it, your life is going to be sad. Before I started YouTube, I had two main sources of income. One of them was practicing as a medical doctor. And the second one was working as a farmer. Now ideally, my path as a doctor would have been like this. If there was no YouTube, if there was no farming, I graduated as a medical doctor, I had been practicing for some time. Ideally, I would have continued to practice, then gone back to school to, you know, get a particular specialty. Maybe start school for three, four years, come back, work more, then maybe go back to school, come back, work more. And it would probably take me maybe, I don't know, 20 years for me to start earning what I would feel like would be an okay salary, you know, something that would make me comfortable. Of course, the focus for most people when they think about doctors is, you know, saving lives, but hey, doctors also have to live and in the end it's about the money now as a farmer ideally I would have started out at that point I had 800 birds I would have kept my 800 birds and if they do manage to perform well and I get in money then I would keep expanding but most likely still while practicing as a doctor so I would do my work as a doctor and I would expand at a reasonable rate while taking minimal risk as a farmer I had actually thought about the idea of creating a YouTube channel. In 2017, while reading books and trying to look for business ideas, I came across it and I was thinking, ha, people actually do make money from YouTube. And when I started YouTube, I actually had two thoughts in mind. Number one, one of them of course was to make money, some side income. The second one was to get some form of exposure and you know, get outside there, get to interact with other people who are doing the same exact thing as me, farmers, and also be of value to those people because for me while I was starting a farm it was difficult for me to start my farm very very difficult so I also wanted to share my ideas my thoughts with different people and get this information outside there and I knew by all means that in me helping people it would bring me in connection with like-minded people people who share the same thoughts and that would catapult me to higher positions and so I started my channel in 2020 I do believe in April of 2020 and in about four months time I was monetized and about three months into getting monetized I was actually making more money from YouTube than I had been making as a medical doctor hard to believe but it's actually true I was earning way more sometimes I was earning even twice as much as I was earning as a doctor now this actually gave me the cushion I needed in my life it gave me the cushion on the two aspects of my life at that point that were actually benefiting me financially Number one, as a medical doctor, truth be told, I had never honestly thought that I would live my entire life as a medical doctor. Even before I graduated from medical school, at some point I knew I was going to leave the profession because it was so unlike me. I'm not the kind of person who loves to sit down and feel restrained by the profession. I'm more explorative. You know, I, I like going outside there, trying out new things, trying out different things. Working as a doctor, I would have to stay in a hospital most likely and do the same thing over and over again to get boring. It's not something I'd always envision myself to do. So I knew that by age 35, I'm going to be leaving this thing called medical practice and go do other things. Now YouTube and the money coming in from YouTube actually gave me the cushion to be able to explore living practicing as a medical doctor. At that point, farming was too fragile for me to just base on farming. For me to live as a doctor and then go and just practice farming. It was too fragile. The risk was too high because I could live and you know very soon into my farming career things could fail to work out and only 800 bucks that could bring me only close to as much as my doctor's pay in fact even a little bit less so it was just too risky and then on the side of the farm like i said at that point i was doing 800 bucks and mainly i was financing it using money from my doctor's salary and it was quite difficult because it was a large number of bucks for me starting out and for us here in uganda doctors I'm not paid as much. I don't know how much they earn right now considering I left the profession. But at that time, they were not 
getting paid as much and it was quite difficult even running an 800 baht farm because I had to put in my salary. It was very, very expensive. And so YouTube gave me the ability to actually expand and take risks without worrying about severe losses. Earlier on, I could not have taken these risks because I was thinking, hey, what if I put in too much money? Or oh, what if I do this? What if I make this decision? What if I buy this kind of feed and everything fails? But then with YouTube, it meant that I had an extra income and I could actually take gambles, which I thought, you know, could pay off. The risks were higher, but I thought, hey, it could pay off. Let me take the risk. Even if it fails, I actually have another source of income. I won't go around begging and asking for food. So at some point, that was in 2021, early 2021, I decided to quit my job as a doctor and concentrate on my farming side. I finally made the decision and I've been catapulted because right now, I could never have imagined I would be at this point because the farms are getting big, really, really big. You know, uh, over 40,000 breeders on one farm and then a smaller farm with a lot of commercial birds. The risk actually did pay off, the gamble paid off. But then would I have made the same exact gamble if I didn't have YouTube, if I was not doing YouTube and having this source of income coming from YouTube? Honestly, I, I can't know because I can't imagine the thought process I would have had then. But the most likely thing is that no, most likely I wouldn't have gambled. I could never have just quit my medical job as a doctor simply for a farm with a thousand birds and no other possible source of income. The risk would have been too high. And now note that the advantage of YouTube has not only come through money. It has actually also come through exposure and connections. It has helped me so much. You see, recently we started a breeder farm. The company is actually called Happy Farming. And over there we actually do sell the old chicks. Lots of birds, 100, 120,000 chicks every week. Now that's a really huge number for someone who's just coming into the business to actually do without any form of exposure. So YouTube and the brand of FarmUp actually helped me in that it gave me a head start when I got into the field and we had to start selling these chicks. I already had a market for the chicks. I wasn't there gambling and thinking who's going to buy these chicks. I had first particular problems and I knew that if I do start selling these chicks, I'll actually have people buying them. So it gave me a head start and also it ensured that I met beneficial people who are going to actually be helpful to the growth of the business in terms of partners, in terms of you know other service providers, people to work with, simply because they have seen me on YouTube, a lot of them got in contact with me when they got to know that you know I have breeder chicks that I'm actually selling. They got in touch with me and it made it a little bit easier for me. And like it or not, YouTube has actually made it easier for me to get particular services. Here in Uganda, or I know in many parts of the world, a lot of the things are really bureaucratic. You go to get a particular service or you want something done for you and you will face hell because most of the people are corrupt. They want you to pay them in order to do a service for which you actually paid for and you're supposed to get the service. So me being a public figure and actually having helped out a lot of people with their farms indirectly because I just share these things on YouTube, on my farm up YouTube channel, a lot of the people actually get to know me and so I go into some offices and I need help and I'll get help really, really quickly because people will just be appreciative of the fact that I help them out with their farms, of the fact that I share all this knowledge that ensures that they don't make all these mistakes. It gives me a stepping stone for me to get things done quicker and easier. So would I advise you to actually start a YouTube channel? Hell yes, why not? Of course, some people will start saying, it's, is it too late? When I was starting the YouTube channel, the same question was being asked. When I was watching YouTube channels and people getting advice about starting the channel, they would keep asking something, is it too late? But hey, it's never too late. We don't know how long YouTube is going to stay here. It could be like Coca-Cola that's going to be present for a hundred more years. YouTube is really really recent yeah it doesn't even make 20 years around so it could it could be one of those things that's going to take 100 years or it could be that it's going to disappear tomorrow but how do you know you never know so start right now is the perfect time to start and of course the parts are different the parts are different for me it took me just four months to get monetized for you it could take you shorter or even longer i'm an anomaly you could be an anomaly too because on average it takes people 18 months to get to a thousand subscribers. That's one and a half years. In less than a year, I had over 100,000 subscribers. So all it requires is putting in hard work 
and luck will strike you when you're putting the hard work. If YouTube decides to push your channel out to a few people but then your content is hopeless, it's useless or there's actually no content, then luck won't have struck your way. But then if you have everything intact, you've done the very best and one of those YouTube videos goes viral, hey, people will say you've been lucky but you've literally made your own luck because you've done everything that's needed for you to get to that point. So go out there, just try it out and you never know, your life could be changed just like my life has been changed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, that way you never miss out on an upload. Lots of love, bye-bye.